Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I want to show you how your students can use Seesaw's new math manipulatives. This is a new feature that was just added to the Seesaw digital portfolio platform. Let's take a look at it. So here I am in the class journal and we'll select post to student journal. Let's go into the drawing section and it's here in the drawing section that we will find on the left hand side a background option and we can choose different backgrounds including this graph paper option and we'll also see over here on this left hand side a shapes menu and as we scroll through there we'll see the different shapes that your students can add including these various math manipulatives. Now each one of these can be customized. You can click and drag on them to make them larger or smaller. On the right hand side you can slide to change the color. You can also change it to be an outline instead of a solid fill. And you can quickly use this menu to duplicate it and duplicate again and again as many times as you want. They can change the color for that one, change the shape for that one independent of the one that was originally duplicated. Down at the bottom of the screen you'll find a menu for some freehand drawing tools and pencil tools so you can go in and write like this or click on the eraser and you can erase all of that work. Now one of the nice things about this eraser tool is you'll see I cannot erase by accident the manipulatives that I've added onto the screen. Now one more thing your students can do with this is record themselves talking while drawing or adding shapes and manipulatives to the canvas. They can click on the microphone icon on the left hand side and now the student can record him or herself and say that this represents 10, 20, 30. Hit the done button, hit the green check mark to submit it. And now that's available to the class. Now you can see there, I could have just made that private for one student. In this case, I made that available to all students. So that's how your students can use the new math manipulatives that are available in Seesaw. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com.